This is a special report from ABC News Digital. Hello, everyone. I'm Devin Dwyer in New York with this ABC News Digital Special Report. A dangerous winter storm now stretching across 2,000 miles is making an icy push east. It's already dropped nearly three feet of snow in parts of Minnesota and Wisconsin and coated North Texas, parts of Arkansas in sleet and ice. ABC's Wendy Gillette has been following the storm where it's had the biggest impact. She joins us now. Good to see you, Wendy. What's the latest? Devin, when officials in South Dakota say it is too cold to ice skate, you know it is truly frigid. But this winter storm that is affecting much of the country is bringing many more hazards than just cold weather. The icy, treacherous conditions remain in the <coughs> Dallas area, where drivers had to adjust to a winter storm that left snow and ice on roadways after enjoying temperatures in the 80s earlier this week. This driver didn't fare well on the hazardous roads. We were just started going sideways, and then uh, we were on oncoming traffic. Airline passengers were stranded at Dallas-Fort Worth International Airport following hundreds of cancellations. The weather is a shock for some. I'm from California, so it's different seeing ice on my windshield. Never, never seen it before, so. In Fayetteville, Arkansas, plows tried to clear the roads, but vehicles were still slipping and sliding. Not exactly ideal conditions for a moped. In Fort Smith, Arkansas, an inch and a quarter of pure ice has accumulated, bringing down branches. Some forecasters predict this could be the worst ice storm in the U.S. since January 2009 and are calling today Ice Friday. Tens of thousands have already lost power. With a new storm brewing out west, 19 states are now under winter storm warnings and advisories from the southwest to the northeast. Temperatures have plummeted across the country, setting record lows in 10 western states. In some areas of Montana, it felt like a bone-chilling minus 40 degrees earlier today. And that cold weather is moving to the northeast. Here in New York City, it feels like about 50 degrees outside. But by tomorrow night, the temperature is expected to dip into the low 30s. Get ready for it, Devin. It's going to be chilly. Wendy, thank you so much. For more now on the storm moving to the east, I want to bring in AccuWeather's Bernie Wayno. Bernie, it's great to see you. Where is the storm headed next? You're following it. Well, it's heading to the north and northeast. Uh, the good news is Dallas, Oklahoma City, the precipitation is over. But you'll notice here we still have the blue, the snow across Illinois and southern Missouri. And here's our ice right now from Little Rock right along Interstate 40 toward Memphis. And the worst of the icing as we go forward into this evening is going to be across Arkansas and then into Kentucky as well. The snow is starting to pile up also in the Ozarks of uh, Arkansas where we've already picked up between six and 10 inches of snow. So this is going to be a big problem, even though the precipitation is ending from west to east across Texas and Arkansas as we go through tonight, because guess what's coming behind it? Even more cold, and we're gonna be looking at temperatures Friday, Saturday night, Friday night, well below freezing, and there may even be a little more ice later this weekend on Sunday across parts of Arkansas. Now the snow is also pushing to the north and north Northeast. Now, we're going to continue to have problems with ice right along the Ohio River, but as we start to get in the parts of Pennsylvania and New York State, it's less about the ice and more about the snow. And as I mentioned, it's not only in the Ozarks where it's piling up, but southern parts of Illinois and Indiana where we've already picked up over six inches of snow, and the snow is going to continue in that area and move to the north and to the northeast. So there are going to be locations south of Interstate 70 through uh, Ohio and Indiana that will be picking up close to a foot of snow. Pittsburgh later on tonight, uh, probably a half foot of snow, although there will be some locations just to the north and to the um, northwest that will pick up nearly a foot of snow. Slippery travel, New York State and Pennsylvania later on tonight as this system moves on through. Now, if that wasn't bad enough, would you believe we have to worry about snow in California tonight. Storm system coming down across the northwest will bring some snow into the northern part of the Sacramento Valley tonight. Even Fresno will have some snowflakes and also even in the upper deserts of Southern California. I mentioned this storm because that brings in more cold into California Saturday night and Sunday. And it's then this storm that rolls out into the Plain States later this weekend. That's why we're worried about ice in the Arkansas area on Sunday. And then look out in the northeast Sunday into Monday. While we're not looking for any snow uh, along I-95 with our storm tonight, this storm Sunday and Monday will bring Philadelphia, Baltimore, 
Washington, maybe even New York City, their first significant snow of the season before a changeover to ice and rain, and we could be looking at a skate rink all the way down in the Greensboro, North Carolina on Sunday, up toward Richmond on Sunday, and then everything pushes up into the Northeast on Monday. So winter starting early, and while we have one storm moving away tonight, Another one is on the way, Devin. Well, Bernie, really some uh, amazing stuff there. You've been following these for years. We heard in, in Wendy's report this is one of the worst since 2009. How destructive has that ice been so far? Oh, I, I think as we move forward, when we start to see the damage, especially across Arkansas tomorrow morning, it's going to be significant, and I think we're going to have lots of power outages. And as I mentioned, behind this storm, it's not going to warm up. It's going to actually get colder. So we're going to be looking at major problems in that area over the coming days. Well, record lows in many of these places too, right? Well, I'm not sure they're going to get to records in many locations because there's going to be lingering clouds, but it's certainly the kind of cold that, uh, at least in Texas, it's even going to be colder than we, what we typically see in January. So unfortunately for those without power, it will be below freezing and that's going to be a problem. And uh, before I let you go, Bernie, obviously dumping a lot of snow in many parts, even California, as you say, Christmas. Now just three weeks away, given how cold it is, are we looking at a pretty white Christmas for the states this year? Well, well, I can certainly tell you this, up across the Northern Plains states where they've had a good healthy snowpack, there's no doubt there's going to be a white Christmas. But here's the thing, behind this storm, there's going to be another shot of cold coming in as we head into next week. And once you get the cold established, you increase the probability for not only snow, but ice. So we're not done this month. Mm -hmm. All right, not done yet, and maybe a white Christmas still in store for many parts of the country. AccuWeather's Bernie Reno. Bernie, thank you very much. And you can follow the latest on the storm moving east, where it's going, what uh, damage it's causing at abcnews.com. For now, I'm Devin Dwyer in New York. This has been an ABC News Digital Special Report.